Hey there guys, welcome back. Our today's problem is encipher it. Encipher basically means to encode something. So here we have to write a program to encipher the given character by using the given key. The coding scheme is uppercase or lowercase a represents 0, uppercase or lowercase b represents 1, up to uppercase or lowercase z represents 25. The first line of input contains any alphabetic character either in uppercase or lowercase and the second line of input contains any integer value. Here we can assume that this lies from 0 to 25. If the input is uppercase p and 10 then the output will be uppercase l. The explanation is also given. Here we have add the key value 10 to the b's value that is 1 plus 10. The value of p is 1 and we are adding 10 to it. So it results in 11 and 11's respective character is uppercase l. So here we can make an array of characters and store either uppercase or lowercase characters. So their index will match their coding scheme. And we will add the given int value to the character's index. So the alphabet at this index will be the output. And we will simply return the value of that index. And suppose we had made the array of uppercase alphabets and we have uppercase character in the input then we can simply return the character and if the input is in lowercase then we have to convert the output in lowercase. So let's see in code. Here we have a class and cipher it and in this class we have a method and cipher which returns char. The method is char and int parameterized. Now I'll create an array. To store the alphabets in an array, we can simply create a char array. So char array alphabets equal to I'll assign all the alphabets in string form. And I'll call to char array method on this string. So now I have a character array of all alphabets. But see, here's a problem. In this array, we have to perform certain operations like getting the value of certain index, getting the index of input characters, converting uppercase to lowercase and vice versa. So here if we use simple array, we have to hard code all the individual tasks and then we'll deviate from the main purpose of the code. So here we'll use array list instead of array. So I'll create array list of character alphabets equal to new array list. We'll use array list of characters and we'll use wrapper class for int and char as well. Now we have to add all the alphabets in uppercase in this array list. So I'll use for loop here. So for int i equal to 0, i less than 26, i plus plus, alphabets dot add. Here we have to provide two arguments, the index and the element to be added. So our index is i and how we will add each alphabet? We have to add uppercase characters and our loop starts with 0. So I'll start from 65 because ASCII value of uppercase A is 65. So 65 plus i and I'll convert this into char. So alphabets.add i 
कैर सिक्सटी फाइव प्लस आई नाउ वी हैव टू गेट द इंडेक्स ऑफ गिवन इनपुट कैरेक्टर एंड एट दैट इंट इनपुट टू इट सो एल्फाबेट्स डॉट इंडेक्स ऑफ सी प्लस एन दिस विल रिटर्न एस द न्यू इंडेक्स सो आई एल होल्ड इट इन एन इंटीजर वेरिएबल इंटीजर इंडेक्स ऑफ न्यू एंड देन आई एल गेट द कैरेक्टर ऑफ दिस न्यू इंडेक्स सो एल्फाबेट्स डॉट गेट इंडेक्स ऑफ न्यू एंड दिस विल रिटर्न द टाइप ई सो आई एल टाइप कास्ट इट टू कैरेक्टर एंड आई एल होल्ड इट इन अ वेरिएबल कैरेक्टर न्यू कैर एंड विल रिटर्न दिस न्यू कैर ओके नाउ लेट्स राइट द ड्राइवर कोड आई एल यूज स्कैनर क्लास टू टेक द इनपुट स्कैनर एस सी इक्वल टू न्यू स्कैनर सिस्टम डॉट इन देन वी हैव टू टेक द कैरेक्टर इनपुट सो विल यूज यर नेक्स्ट मैथड ऑफ स्कैनर क्लास एंड देन विल चूज द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट सो एस सी डॉट नेक्स्ट डॉट कैरेट जीरो एंड असाइन इट टू कैरेक्टर वेरिएबल कैरेक्टर सी Now taking the int input, integer i equal to s e dot next int, and then I'll call encipher method and pass c and i in its parameter. So encipher c comma i, and we'll print it. So system dot out dot print Allen encipher c comma i. and will import scanner and error list class so import java.util.scanner and import java.util.error list now let's compile and run java c and cipher it dot java okay file is compiled successfully now let's run Java and cipher it. Okay, first input is B in upper case, and then ten. Okay, we are getting upper case L, so we are getting the correct output. Now let's check for lower case B. We should get lower case L for lower case B. So let's see. Enter lower case B. And then ten. Hmm. See, here our output is not correct. We are not getting the desired result. Okay. Notice here, if our input character is in upper case, then we have handled the case. But if the character is in lower case, then we had not handled the case. So here we have to check whether the given character is in upper case or lower case. So I'll use here if else block. If character dot is uppercase C, then we will shift this code inside if and else. If our input character is in lowercase, then look these two lines should be same for both the cases. So I'll first convert it into uppercase. So C equal to character dot to uppercase. and i'll pass here c and then these two lines and then i'll convert it into lower case and return it at the same time so return character dot to lower case and i'll pass here new char so let's see this we have to compile and cipher it dot java so java c and cipher it dot java okay so file is compiled successfully and now let's run java and cipher it so we'll pass lower case p and then 10 we should get lower case l okay 
okay we are getting the lower case l let's try again this time i'll pass here upper case a and 10 for upper case a we should get upper case k okay so let's see okay we are getting the upper case k okay so we are getting the desired result so our code seems fine and instead of adding uppercase alphabets in array list you can also add lowercase characters okay in that case you have to change the code little bit and that is also correct okay so that's it for this video we'll see more problems in the further videos thank you